Hello, brothers and sisters. Michael, humble seeker of truth for our promised seed. Um, we're going to start out with uh, something. It's not off topic, certainly. Um, but not exactly directly on topic either. But it's how I got led through it. So I'm just going to uh, give it to you the way... I received it. X. Two. I guess it is on topic. <laughs> X two verse twenty five. If you've been following along um, for a while, oh, quite some time ago, a few months ago now, and a few months before that. I had put a picture of my right hand on uh, the channel, the community page. Um, it was our Lord's face and found that very interesting. And uh, this is the 51st Michael verse of Acts. For David speaks concerning him. I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand, that I should not be moved. I do see the Lord's face ever before me. I literally do see it all over in all kinds of stuff. Um, I hope you do as well. So, let's few numbers today <laughs> you might have guessed uh, for David he's number 1138 you know this is going to center around true Pentecost which it, in case you missed it is July 7th July 8th and now you you hear that kind of stuff from a lot of different channels and and mainly it's based on differences in the calendar and well it should be a month later and uh, not I don't know I don't try to figure it all out but I guess I've done kind of the same thing in that um, we're using we're looking at it on father's calendar which begins the day after the equilux the equilux is the counting point that was March 17th March 18th is day one and father proved that out with Daniel 10 4 and we've covered it like a hundred times so if you have questions about it just leave a message okay so we've looked at the true Pentecost count 97 days because it's seven Sabbaths not seven sevens and it's from the 16th in the sun which we've looked at and shown father prove in his word and so the first part is 47 days. You can't reorder the Sabbath count. It doesn't say seven sevens. It says seven Sabbaths. The first one's only five days away, not seven. Making the first set 47 days, telling us we know that the 50 days is a separate 50 days, not just the 50th day. Okay. Uh, a few videos ago, I did uh, our... Uh, our holy convocation and we get into it I think more in that and um, several videos prior to that okay so true Pentecost on father's calendar July 7th July 8th worthy of note and not to confuse you but there is one other way to look at that count and it ties so directly to as in the days of Noah were in light of them going into the ark seven days prior. I am not saying this is how it will play out, but I don't know the day and hour. And so we're watching for the Lord and we just, I try to share what he shows me or I get led to. And so think about this. It says from the day after the Sabbath, and we know that is the high Sabbath of the first day of unleavened bread, not the weekly Sabbath. And uh, <clears throat> the 15th was the high Sabbath, first day of unleavened bread, and then um, 
the next day, the 16th, is the wave sheep offering. It says count seven Sabbaths. Well, from there we counted seven weekly Sabbaths to come up with 47 and then added 50. There is another Sabbath in there which would change things by seven days because the seventh day of unleavened bread is also a high Sabbath. So it is both a weekly Sabbath, the 21st, and a high Sabbath. One could count that as two. He says seven Sabbaths, and maybe that's why. Because it does uh, lend itself to that. And that would put it at 7-1. Seven, 7-1, one. Seven, one, seven, eight is is the day it lands on it begins the evening of the 7th so 7 1 would be if we count the high sabbath and the weekly sabbath that are on the same day as two of the seven sabbaths i may or may not do a video that dives into that a little bit but it's just worthy of note i've said for a while now 7778 seven, seven, maybe when we come back across the river so it could be that we all get in the ark so to speak 7 6 30 7 1 june 30th july 1st and i also find it interesting a few years ago father had us say the lord's prayer live as a group from 7 1 to 7 7 that is noteworthy okay so again i'm not trying to confuse you and we're not going down that road right now i'm just making mention of it not to detract from true pentecost 7778 that he's marked out like a couple hundred ways Uh, half of me wants to start the video over and not talk about it. But the other half wins. Speaking of phi. Okay. David. For David. It's number 1138. Well, what does that start with? Uh, that'd be 113 and new beginning. Interestingly, July 8th is the 113th day on Father's calendar. It has a TDNT reference number of 8478. 84.0 would reference 41021. Day of declaration is 4 times 10 times 21 is 840. And seven eight. Um, I foresaw the Lord always before my face. Before is used ninety seven times, which is the Pentecost count, bringing us to the hundred thirteenth day. My face number thirty four fifty. That's our Lord Jesus Christ in 350, March 2nd, 2021, the day of warning, where he said, tell them yet 40 days and judgment will fall. March 2nd's the 350th day on our Father's calendar. My is used 501 times as the word my, translated into the word my. Um, I'm going to go shut that fan down. Sorry, hold on a second. It's full circle in 51, which is Michael. Oh, much better. Got a lot of really cool stuff to look at today, you guys. So uh, bear with me while we get rolling. My face. You know, the simpler form of this, according to Blue Letter Bible, is number 1700. Well, that's worthy of note. You know, we have two day counts now. So, 
The earth rang like a bell, 11, 11, 18. Uh, from that date, it's 1138 David days to the man child's birth, prophetic birth, 12, 23, 21. It is from 11, 11, 18, the earth ringing like a bell. It's 1700 days to 7, 8. I find that really interesting myself. So for David, I foresaw the Lord ever before my face, always. So when you look at this stuff broken down in Blue Letter Bible, per the Strong's Concordance and accounting of it, it, uh, it'll list the words out of order because it's how it translates from one language to the other. And so sometimes I have them out of order, not because I'm changing the order, just because that's how it is as I study through it. Always is number 1223. Use 646 apples to see at times. Number 646 in Strong's is departure. And in context, it absolutely refers to the departure of the 99 sheep, the bride of Christ. Hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, it's used one time. So again, always is 1223, 646 times, and the only time that's used is in 2 Thessalonians 2, 3. And, uh, oh, that's right here. That day shall not come unless there come a departure first, a falling away first. Literally, a separating out from among Defined a few verses later, and that's the context we use. Defined as the removal of the restraint. Moed, divine appointment, is used 223 times. Okay, so um, from the day marked on Phi, 3220, the week the world changed, according to the headlines. 1,223 days brings us to 7, 8. So three witnesses or four through there with two day counts. Number one use of this always is the word by 241 times. 24th day of the first month, which was 410, the day of declaration. Next to 88 and 16 is 104, 10th day of the fourth month. Again, pointing to the beginning of the flood and the manifestation of the flood via the removal of the floodgates, which is the departure spoken of. For David speaks concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand. For 1,189 times. Hey, that's how many chapters are in the King James Version Bible, but it's also one father and 189, where uh, July 8th is the 189th day of the year on the Gregorian calendar, for he is on my right hand. Again, we looked at that already up here, and right hand is 1188, so just one short of the 1189. Well, that gives us the 188 is 7-7, seven, seven, the beginning of true Pentecost. The 189 is 7-8 on the Gregorian calendar, 7-7-7-8. Seven, 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 he is on my right hand. You know, it's the right side that references the 99 sheet, and the left side represents the lost sheet. Behold the hand, behold the nail. We've looked at that last video, Divine Wisdom. Okay, two hands, 99 sheep, lost sheep. Four nails, because it's a four-part overall model. Jesus Christ himself being the foundation 
and also the chief cornerstone. So, um, you know, they're not catching any fish at the beginning of the family fishing trip where he says, follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. And they're not catching nothing. He says, cast on the right side and you shall find. Or that might be at the end of the family fishing trip, John 21. Cast on the right side. Okay, that's going to be super relevant at the end of this video. Understanding the right and left. Same thing with the two pillars of Solomon's temple. The right pillar and the left pillar. Um, okay. Oh, for David speaketh and said. That's that number 3004. 300 referencing man child for Jesus Christ. Christ and the, those that are coming back across the river is the man-child. It's also full circle in 304, which also represents the, man, represents the man-child, 296 days in the womb, eight days to naming and circumcision. 304, okay? 1,343 times one father for Jesus Christ in 343, which references me because I'm giving it to tell you. Birthday plus a minute on my birth. We've looked at it a few hundred times now. Don't want to beat you up with it. So I'm not going to. But still, because this right here, okay, this is important because it's referencing the man child. And so from the earth ringing like a bell, David tying to the man child's birth is super relevant. And the man-child is, again, those coming back across the river. David in the Old Testament, 1732. Well, the TWOT reference number, 410. And it's used in 910 Canaan verses. Phonetic tie to me, Canaan used, lived 910 years. And so Michael and his angels... Whether you like it or not, <laughs> I'm not the one who stated it that way. That is the man-child, and so Father patterns it in that fashion. And that's why he was on my right hand, and why I see his face always before me. Why tell you about it? Well, because I love you guys, <laughs> and our Lord's about to be here, that's why. And I want you to get it and feel it and know it. So I've said for a while that 49410-2021 began the flood, but the flood gates the 99 sheep with Holy Spirit in them are the floodgates, the restraint. When they're taken, then the flood will manifest as such. And I've referenced Isaiah 59.19. When the enemy comes in like a flood, because it's not a flood of water this time, it's a flood of enemies. Starting with Satan and his angels. But we've never, to my knowledge or remembrance, broken this verse down at all. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So shall they fear. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the rising of the sun. So shall they fear. 318 verses. Oh, that's day one on Father's calendar. Uh, the TWOT reference number, 
He happens to be full circle in 97. And number one use is fear, 188 times, pinning the beginning of true Pentecost. And then second is afraid, 78 times, <laughs> pinning the rest of true Pentecost, 7778. Seven, seven, in 2023, 23, the third use is terrible. It's when you understand the beginning of the flood and the manifestation of the flood and that this is an ordered communication, it's mind blowing. And it just, it doesn't stop because it really is an ordered communication. And from the rising of the sun, well, when did the flood begin? 49410, 2021. And from the rising is number 4217. From the marker of the great sign of Revelation 12, culminating 92317. It's 42 months and 17 days to 41021 beginning of the flood of the sun 8121 it was the hebrew year 5781 gregorian year 2021 and we also have new beginning and 121 which is the archangel simple gematria simple english that's who made declaration In 6,781 verses, that'd be 6 1, it'd be 7 8 in 6 1. 3 2, the 61st day of the year, day of warning. 7 8, manifestation of the flood. I don't know. We'll see. In a hundred. Okay, so. This goes with this, I think. Sorry. Forget that for a second. It's still relevant because it's still part of this verse, but just not with this word. Because this is used in 127 verses. Well, the archangels, Michael and his angels. 127, Revelation 12, 7, and Michael and his angels fought the dragon and his angels. And who gets all the glory? That be Almighty God, our Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ. So misunderstood is this topic. Let's see, 127, that'd be 51, which is Michael in English, plus 76, which is Michael in Hebrew. 127. Uh... 3, 2, 23, plus 127 days, so 3, 2, 21 was the day of warning, and he abode two days still, we've seen the application, that day equals a year, 3, 2, 23, plus 127 days, 7, 7, and like a flood, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and from the glory and, sorry, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood. Number 5104, it's the same number, same thing as river, in Daniel 10, 4, 10th day of the fourth month, which is the 24th day of the first month on Father's calendar. So he marks out the calendar at the beginning of the verse. Okay. 51 is Michael on the 10th day of the fourth month. That was day of declaration. When the archangels... Which are the 99 sheep, by the way. Father calls them that for all the different figures he uses to reference them. Uh, 
5104. That began the flood. Tenth day of the fourth month. 108 verses. Happens to be 3 times 2 times 6 times 3. 3 to 63, my birthday. 3 times 2 times 6 times 3. 108. Michael standing at the river with the archangels. It is beautiful. Now, God in Christ, in the believers, and the man-child is the ones that were made aware that we were to make declaration at that time. And those who have jumped in and followed along and understand and have a heart to come back across the river and stand in the gap. Here we are, Lord. Send us. We will stand in the gap and declare your glory and your holy name and the glory of your Son, Jesus Christ. In that darkest night. <clears throat> it's the Spirit of God in Christ, in the believer. That's why it's so tied to Pentecost, seemingly. Well, the Spirit is number 7307. Man, child, man in that revelation. 12, 5 at that point is 730. Number 730. Spiritual completion and perfection. 378 times. That's 300. The man child on 7 8. Maybe. You know, 378. Divided by phi, the sign of our family, sign of his coming is 233 rounded. It's 233.333 repeating forever. It's a third of the angels are cast to the earth. Third of basically everything gets wiped out. Starting when? Well, I don't know, but... 233, 23 days and 3 months on Father's calendar is True Pentecost, 7 8. It's also the writing on the wall. Simple gematria, mene, mene, tekel, you farson. I'm sure that's not how you say it. Uh, 378 also happens to be 3 times 2 times 63. So we saw it tie a few minutes ago. Now we see it tie this way. 232 times spirit, 146 times other. Uh, that's 3, 2, plus 63, plus 51, Michael. Interesting. Yeah, I'm sure that's just all random coincidence. Not. Hey, what's 146 divided by 5? It's 90.1234567, all repeating forever. Sorry if you can't see this. 90.1234567. Well, nine divine order, or 90. Do you know from uh, the two-year anniversary of declaration, 4, 9, 23, plus 90 days is 7, 8. It's also, uh, so then we got the 90, 
and one, two, three, four is division. It was also the minute of declaration in 2021. And who's coming? Four, five, six, seven is coming. The adversary, Satan. And that is number four, five, six, seven. Shall lift up a standard. 5127. Michael. 127. Michael and his angels. 3, 2, 23 plus 127 days. 7, 7. True Pentecost. And here's where we got our 78 and 61. From day of warning to day of manifestation. Possibly. Well, okay, if spirit literally pins all of this stuff from who, what, when, and what's coming, well, then it has to do it in the Old Testament, which we just looked at, and in the New Testament. Or it would be inconsistent. New Testament spirit, number 4151, that'd be 41.0410, and 51 is Michael. Guess what the uh, reference number is? It is 6332, oh, that would be my birthday, and then 87, eighth day of the seventh month, and then 76, which is Michael. Um, first use, Matthew 118. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. Espoused, number 3423. <laughs> Well, we got uh, 3 and 423. In the fourth month on the 23rd day is 7, 8. We also have 4, Jesus Christ. And 400, the cross. The accomplished work thereof. In 323, 3 months and 23 days, which is 7, 8. Now, uh, Spirit, used in 350 verses. So, that's the number, the reference number, used in 350 verses, which March 2nd, Michael's birthday, is the 358th day on Father's calendar. 350th day on Father's calendar. Uh, it's... Holy Ghost is another way it gets translated. That's in 108 verses, which is 3 times 2 times 6 times 3. It's a numerical communication as well. A universal language. Do you know that this is all also 4 and 151? For Jesus Christ, we're looking for him coming. And 151... Well, that jumped out at me because I just saw a video by our brother Mark. And uh, there's supposedly, uh, according to him and his sources, uh, brother Mark Allison, there's a comet that there's talking about hitting the earth. 7 4 to 7 7. It's. 2022 AE1. Well, A is 1, E is 5, and 1. That's interesting. And, uh, yeah. 
Will it? I don't know. Is it the third trumpet? Maybe. Um, Numa is spirit. Hagian, I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it. Uh, Holy, Holy Spirit. Simple English gematria. 151. Well, that makes a whole bunch of sense. Spirit of Christ in you. Holy Spirit of Christ in you. Whew. Chill. Uh, <laughs> Glory to God in the highest. Thank you, Father, for giving us your Son, giving your Son for us. Hebrew, Gematri of Pneuma, sorry, Numa Hagian, is 451. Simple English, it's 124. First month, 24th day, Christ in Michael and his angels. It's a point in time where Father casts Satan and his angels out of heaven. gigantically marked out in the Word of God over and over you you know one of my favorite verses uh, I hath not seen nor ear heard nor hath entered into the heart of man the things that father has in store for them that love him but there is another verse after that or two. 1 Corinthians 2. You know, it says that spirit will lead us into all the truth. Well, do you think when Father casts Satan out of heaven might be included in all the truth and maybe something about our Lord getting here, if not the day and hour, I mean, like right about when, because we're supposed to be watching. So, yeah, there's a pretty good chance that's in the all the truth that the Spirit leads us into. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9, But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, nor hath entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Verse 10, the 41st verse, for one true Passover. And uh, Father, so four is Jesus Christ, one is Father. The sacrifice of a father and his son on four one add them together and you got grace second corinthians 2 10 but god hath revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searcheth all things yea the deep things of god unto us so again it's given out of order and it unto us is at the top of it 2254 254 is simple gematria for return O lord how long when are you coming back 177 times but if you keep scrolling down as i've mentioned you it'll give you another total it happens to go from one Seven seven to one seven eight. Hmm. God is twenty three sixteen. Thirty one in twenty six. Thirty one is message. Twenty six is Yahweh or God. And God. Message from God. Thirteen hundred forty three times. One is Father. Four is Jesus Christ. Three forty three is me. 
Three two plus sixty three plus two forty eight. My birthday in the minute I was born. I know you've heard it a ton. Sorry. One Corinthians two one full circle. One twenty one the archangels. God hath revealed by his spirit by is 1223 we just looked at that a minute ago it was a different word always i think and uh it's translated into the word by 241 times pinning 24th day of the first month day of declaration and from 3 to 20 the day marked on phi it's 1223 days to 7 8 oh it's right here his used a thousand eighty four times full circle in one eighty four gematria of my full name in English simple English spirit and there's our tie right back to this forty one fifty one day of declaration and Michael the in Hebrew one thirteen one thirteen. 7, 8, 113th day on Father's calendar. Thanks to MJK. Thank you. 4,151 verses. Spirit verses back from the end of the Word of God. Revelation 22, 21. Minus 4,151 verses brings us to Acts 2, 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. <laughs> wow. See, the promised seed and the promise of the Father equate. That Holy Spirit within you. And when you have that Holy Spirit, the Spirit of our Father in His Son, which then becomes called the Spirit of Christ in you. It's what makes us one with them and one in the Father in and through the Son. That's the vine. That's Father's vine that flows through Jesus Christ. He says, I am the vine, you are the branches. When you abide in the vine, you produce fruit. Well, Satan is a vine too. When they take Satan as their Lord and they get born again of his seed and it fills their holy of holies, the heart. Figuratively. They become of the vine, his vine. And his vine, Deuteronomy 32, 32. For their vine is the vine of Sodom in the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. What's produced from those grapes? The wine of the wrath of God. the wrath of their fornication, their idolatry in that worship of Satan and his angels. For their vine is the vine of Sodom and the grapes of Gomorrah, of, or, and of the fields of Gomorrah, their grapes are grapes of gall, their clusters are bitter, their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of asps. So our, what we received on Pentecost was the spirit of our father in his son, the unity of the father and his son. In us, it's a spiritual baptism. And when you understand true Pentecost on father's calendar, it's really easy to see that it's an ordered communication. 
Acts 2.33, 23 days and three months. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost. Baptized with the Holy Spirit. Oh, baptized is number 907. It's full circle in 97, the Pentecost count. In this verse, No, not in this verse. <laughs> Ephesians 1.13. Three months and 23 days. 30 day months on Father's calendar. 90 plus 23 is 113. Sorry. In whom you also trusted... After you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom asked F, wow, in whom also after that you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Sealed. Nothing can take it from you. Not in heaven, not on earth. You are bought with the highest price. Sealed with an incorruptible, eternal seed that you cannot lose. He didn't make an imperfect way that relied on your perfection. He made a perfect way because of our imperfection. 113, true Pentecost, and 7-8 on Father's calendar, July 8th, the equivalent on the Gregorian calendar. John 3, 22, 7, 7. John 3, 23, 7, 8. Jesus baptizing, 907. Full circle in 97, the Pentecost count. He's baptizing with Holy Spirit. At that time, he was baptizing with water as a figure for the true spiritual baptism, which wasn't available at that time. So both the word baptize and the placement, John 3.22 and 3.23, pin true Pentecost 7.7.7.8. John 7.39, but this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. 323rd verse in John. Luke 322, 7 7, three months and 22 days, beginning of true Pentecost. And the Spirit descended on him like a dove. The promised seed. Let's go to Genesis 3, where we first get word of this. And we're going to go to verse, let's see, 14. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, above every beast of the field, and Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, thou shalt bruise his heel. I will put seven, eight. 96, the Pentecost count is 97, but it begins on the 96, the evening. So it's 7, 7, 7, 8. I will put enmity between, 
is number 996. 99 sheep, 96, beginning of true Pentecost. He does this four times. It's used in 32, it's used 32 times, but when you keep scrolling down, it gives you a whole different number. 410 in 248. That happens to be 32 the day of warning, my birthday, 410 the day of declaration, and the minute of my birth. It has to do with the Spirit and the importance of the Spirit in the man-child at declaration and manifestation and coming back across the river to stand in the gap. And that's why four times. But I'm not trying to highlight that. So I'm... between the and the woman 802 full circle in 82 which is to fly by the way 780 times seven eight full 780 verses seven eight full circle and between thy seed 2233 and her seed. Her seed? Jesus Christ. Oh, this is beautiful. First of all, thy seed is 2233. It's 23 in 23. Double stamping 2023. It's 223 and 233. It is divine appointment 223 times, 22 days and three months, seven, seven, and the writing on the wall, 233 simple English gematria, and 23 days and three months, seven, eight, it pins 7778 in 2023. Absolutely it does. And, and there's that again. Her seed. Boom. Same thing. It. And her seed, it. Meaning her seed which is Jesus Christ. Well, it's used 1,888 times. So you got 188 pinning 77 seven, and 888, which is the Greek gematria of Jesus. Shall bruise. 7779, seven, seven, and 777 divine order king of kings and lord of lords is the hebrew gematria of 777 it is also 343 plus 434 the very minute he had us make declaration think about this and we'll close with this thought 